What's up, everybody, and welcome to another exciting uh, virtual sports club game. We got season four, game three, and we have uh, Brazil versus Australia. That's going to be Zulu Boy versus Bisexual Bob. We were going to do um, uh, Bisexual Bob as Albania, and I spent about five minutes trying to find Albania. And couldn't find it, and did a quick Google, and apparently there was a, a some sort of disagreement, some sort of issue between FIFA and Albania at some point. I don't know what it is. Um, so, uh, Bisexual Bob is instead going to have Australia. And, uh, you know, that's just uh, that's how it is sometimes. And without further ado, let's get into the match. Play in the match, play in the match. Come on. I always try to do a little warm up, and I'm like, I I'm not actually playing. I don't need to warm up. Let's uh, let's just resume the match. Welcome on what is an ideal night for football. You've got to say, this is Derek Ray joined for commentary. By Here we go. England international Lee Dixon. And oh, sorry. I apparently accidentally paused it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and you know. Not pause it, but and resume it. Doubt, there we the go. To bring excitement. It's Brazil, and they take on Australia. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Looking forward to a bright, lively start in this one. Quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. All right, what so it me? looks like Brazil is in yellow, and Australia is in blue-green, and uh, Brazil already uh, scored a goal. 90 seconds, not even 90 seconds into the game. Damn, that's a hell of a start. Way to go, Brazil. Coming out strong, getting yourselves a goal. Brazil. They do like soccer in Brazil, though, so I guess that makes sense. Of course, they like soccer all over. I assume that Australia is pretty big into soccer. Maybe not, you know, to the degree that Brazil is, as we're finding out, but, uh, who knows? Oswald Nato. Good job, Oswald Nato. I feel like there's like three names in that name. The opening goal of the game, then. Aaron Moy. Here we are. Degenek. Oh, yeah, someone in the chat asking what Mosswood is. Milos Degenek. Mosswood is icons. Sherwood Forest. Sainsbury has it. And Irvin on the ball. It's our first Aaron Moy. and most built neighborhood our Holland. first control Holland couldn't keep it there we go all right so we are 5 minutes in Brazil still in the lead they got Brazil one goal given. Australia none and the ball, the ball has mostly been on Australia's side of the field they've been having to do a lot of defense so far Grant Oh, they're trying, though. They're moving it up. They're trying to find a space to get a little shot in. Top class or just pass it to the Brazil defenders. Good sportsmanship. Yeah, Brazil got with that just, I mean, super quick. It was, like, I mean... In game time, it was it was the like a minute twenty three seconds in. So like in real life time, that was like maybe forty seconds since I pressed start. Jackson Irvin. That's what the best move you can make is to just like score immediately, and then just kind of spend the rest of the game being like, well, we got one, so uh, try and maintain that. It's like when you're playing Monopoly and yeah, you really early on get a really like a good trade or good sale or something. And you take that $500 bill and you just kind of slide it underneath the board to keep it for safekeeping. 
Or maybe that's just me that did that, but that's how I always play Monopoly. Uh, Brazil's going for another. Can they make one of these passes count? Oh, 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 yep. Yeah. Oh, what the way to go, goalie. That was a hell of a save. And then the defender backing it up there. Yeah, it looks like that throw in. Damn, well done. <laughs> Once was enough. They're like, I'm not going to let you score another goal. That was a great save. It was a save, and then there was a ninja kick, like deflection. Now that'll be a free kick. Yeah, it was close. McLaren. Oh, oh, this might be their shot. They can. Yeah, well, they, they couldn't quite get it to, to their people in the middle to make that shot on goal. That's a shame. Oh, they're gonna go for another though. We got another little opportunity here. Man, Brazil's defense just not letting them get the ball into the box. Oh, meanwhile, Brazil's about to take another shot on goal. Oh, okay, all right, well. Good on the Australian defense. They managed to put a stopper in that. Grant. Holland. Australia seems to be just taking a minute, taking a breath. Alecky. And sending the ball back on up. Moy. Holland. That's got to be real confusing for people. Like, because, I mean, you know, soccer is an inherent, or football is an inha inherently, like, it's an international game. You know, you got countries playing each other, people from different countries, they're trading teams, they're moving around. It's got to be real confusing for your name to be a country itself. Like, apparently one of these guys' names is Holland. That's got to be confusing for people. Someone's got to be like, wait, Holland's playing? I thought this was between Brazil and Australia. Taking it away. Yeah, Australia is just like, keep it away from our goal. Just keep it on the other side. <laughs> All right, got one of them there, free kicks. It's in the box, and there's the shot, and there's the tie. Way to go, Australia, tying it all up. And it was Holland. Holland's the one that did it. Way to go, Holland. It's the skill of an entire country in the legs of one man. That was a nice team play. That was a nice team play. I did. I made him do that. Put the pressure on him. That's what it takes. See, when they hear you talking about them, it, 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 it just it forces that little that little, little extra push on them, you know. Even he's surprised. He didn't see it coming. All right, it's all tied up. It's a new ball game now. Really good interception. Now both teams are playing a little cautious. They got that what fancy footwork though. Oh no, Brazil's gonna take another shot. The I feel like there's more Brazil guys than there are Australian guys. What's up with that? Not like on the field, but like in the box. There, the <laughs> if there was more than one team than the other on the field, that'd be uh, that'd be a problem for the referee. Jamie McLaren. Ooh, Australia's going to try and go from being one down to being one up. And Irvin on the ball. They got the momentum. Can they execute? 
They might be able to. And they are. Damn. All right. Australia now in the lead. Two to one. Oh, I hate when I see them do that because, like, all I can think about is the rug burn you get on your knees. Anybody that's ever seen that and then gone out and tried it, like, it, 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 that can go wrong. You're not meant to slide that far on grass or especially AstroTurf on your knees. That's... But yeah, that's uh, that's goal number two for Australia. Brazil needs to pick it up. They want to, they want to stay in this. Way to go, Aaron. Way to go. Well, two one it is here. All right, Brazil. You can do it. I'll tell you, it's a good thing that Brazil got that first goal so quick off. Otherwise, they'd be down two nothing. Things would be looking really dire. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Ooh, watch out! Australia is looking for a third goal. But currently dribbling the wrong direction. That's, That's okay. And Irvin on the ball. Yeah, dude, you're offside. Well, you need to get back. To oh, there it is. All right, Brazil's really trying to push it up now. A little back and forth action. And, oh, was he not offside? Oh, hell yeah. Ooh, that, 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 was, that was a risky move, that kick. That was a risky move for rules and for injury. Somebody just about got themselves impaled with cleats. Which does not feel good. Looking for that final pass. But at least they don't have metal cleats like they do in other sports. That's something I always found a little, I don't know. Like, does baseball really need metal cleats? Really? Except for the best. Oh, just wide. Man, Brazil. You know, Brazil's definitely winning for shots on goal, though. Australia's in the lead, but Brazil's had like three times as many shots. Trent Sainsbury. Aaron Moy. Holland. Uh-oh, Holland's got the ball. Watch out for that. Oh, all right, Brazil took it back, got that nice interception going. All right, all right. Oh, but he's got two on one. Okay, he gets it out of there, passes on up, but then they just move to go against him. It's, it, it's, it's moving forward, but slowly. Brazil, hunt it up, man. Kick it up. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Send it up to that guy on the wing. Or one of them. There's two of them. Each wing. Somebody make a run so they can pass it to you. Like, let's go. Moving the ball effectively. Come on, Brazil. There you go. There it is. All right. Tying it back up. All right. Way to go, Brazil. That's what we're talking about. Now we got a game. Now we got a game. Tying it back up. Two to two. Yeah, Australia has been very accurate tonight. Like I said, they haven't had nearly the number of shots on goal, but they've had way more success. Whereas Brazil, I mean, that's only their second goal, but that was Brazil's, like, tenth shot. Like, all right. I'm rooting for Brazil, too. Go, Brazil. Come on, Brazil. Save the rainforest, but win the soccer games. That would be, if I, if I, were, if I were running for Brazil president, that, that would be my campaign. We're going to save the rainforest and win the World Cup. I think I, I, think I could win on that. Again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And very Wait, did I, I, heard, I heard a whistle. Okay. Must have, must have not been that kind of whistle. Because I was about to say, what, what happened? That was, they just playing? Oh, ah. Uh, 
too ambitious. I like what they were trying to do there to keep him on sides at the start of the kick, but yeah, too ambitious. I still say, I've, I've said it before, and, I, and, and I'll say it again. The most impressive thing about professional uh, uh, football or soccer is seeing how far they can do a damn throw in. Like, I, you know, I, I was never anywhere near, like, good at soccer. But, like, I was on the same team as people that were good. Like, the fancy footwork, I've seen that in real life. Like, it's cool. It's cool to watch. But, like, I, I've never seen people able to throw that damn ball like they're able to in this game. Was that not offside? Damn. All right, they got a chance to, to take the lead now. I thought for sure that guy was offsides. Oh, they're trying. They're trying to go on the outside. Yeah, there it is. There you go. And Brazil. Brazil taking the lead again. It, it, this, it's a roller coaster this game. Damn. Three to two. We're still in the first half. <laughs> That's what's really crazy. We're still in the first half. We got 10 minutes left in this half. That's, that's something that I feel that, that I've talked to people before that are really into basketball that don't get about soccer. It's like they, they think that since the scores, the, like the final scores are, are so low in comparison to a basketball game, that like therefore the game itself just must not be as entertaining. And I try to explain to them like, no, it's more entertaining. It, it, it's better when you're not scoring 50 points within 10 minutes. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equalizer. It's my, my personal opinion. I, I mean, nothing against basketball. You know, you, people enjoy what they enjoy. But I find, like, being two goals ahead is, like, so much more of a big deal than being, what, eight points in, in, in basketball? Because it's only, like, four baskets. Which that's another thing about basketball that I got to give credit to soccer instead of is like you know like when you have when you have the the free throw things in basketball those are only for one point apiece and no half a goal from a penalty kick a goal is a goal so I got to give soccer props for consistency oh Brazil looking to secure that lead a little further if they can. They might. They've got. They, they, they've got. They've got good. Like good passing. Good teamwork. But Australia is not doing too bad in the old defender box. Trent Sainsbury. I wonder if I'm the only person that buys these games without any intention of ever actually playing them. Because I've got a few of these that I've never actually sat down and like played a game. I've all I've always used them for for this for and to watch an AI game. Jamie McLaren. Like I don't really foresee myself ever actually playing this game. Sainsbury has it. But it's hella fun to watch. Holland. Jamie McLaren. Well, the ball lost here. One of my goals, one of my original things that I, I want to do for a season of Virtual Sports Club, is uh, uh, they made a Harry Potter Quidditch game way back when, and I've always wanted to do a a, a season of, of Quidditch. I don't know if it lets the AI play for it, though. i got to look into it. Only saw the situation developing. Aaron Moy. It's Jamie McLaren. Yeah. No kidding, no kidding, John Lee. It really is fun to watch. Like I never understood, you know, people they they built their fan like their fantasy their fantasy teams. And I'm like, you know you can actually put all those care like all those people on the same team in these games. Ooh, that's what we should do. Ooh, that, that was a good save. That was a good save.
Alright, we got a corner kick. Played into the center of the box. I'll never forget the, the what, what our coach used to have us do for corner kicks back in high school. He would uh, he he he'd get like he some one or two people on the team being like really good at corner kicks, being really good at getting the ball to land where they want it, and where they'd want it to land is obviously you know around the goal. So he had this play where everyone except for the defenders, all the midfielders, all the forwards, maybe even the stopper of the defenders, would get in that goal line, and we would just line up one person behind the other on the goal line. And the idea was that the corner kick would have the ball land somewhere around our heads and just somebody jump up and head it in. I don't think I ever saw it actually work, but it was it was really fun to try out. I must say this looks promising. Oh, damn. Oh, that was going to be a great shot too. Look at this, look at this, and no! Deflected! Whew! Yeah, I will say this, John. Uh, I never did, I never successfully, like, actually got to hit the ball with my head on those plays, but there were a few times that I saw other players hit each other with their heads. Because uh, you're looking at the ball, you're not looking at the people around you. There were a few collisions. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not sure it was actually the best play, but it was a lot of fun to try. <laughs> Ooh, a free kick from there? Da oh, okay, now this, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, M mind you, this is the same coach who I talked about back when my brother was playing, told my brother to, why don't you try and just slip on the, on the field there as an extra player, see if the referee notices. He was unorthodox. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, if he plays like that in the second half, we're in for a real yeah, treat. Yeah. He's scored, he's direct, creative, and he unnerves defenders. All right, that's halftime. And... That's the end of halftime, I guess. Eh? What can he do or are we doing the... Okay, I guess we're getting some highlights. Oh, my controller died. That's why it's not working. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Advance. Resume. There we go. As anticipated, plenty of talking points. So now we got Australia on the left and Brazil on the right. Let's see if that makes a difference. It is still only three to two in terms. So there's only one one goal difference. So there's uh, still plenty of uh, plenty of chances. And yeah, the, the coach was he, he was he he was a fun guy. He was. McLaren. Oh, he's given us away. I can't remember his name for the life of me, though. Chuck, maybe? Or Jerry? It was, it, was, it, was, it was something old school like that, like Chuck, Jerry, Tom, Eddie. It was one of, one of those names. Ooh, and out of the box. All right. Well, well done, Australia. Way to keep the, the lead from getting any bigger. They're, oh, they're going, they're going for it. They're pushing on up. Go for the guy on the wing. He's basically left, okay, or or pass it straight to the defender. I, okay. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. Take two, electric boogaloo. Aaron Moy. Trent Sainsbury. And Moy with it. Sainsbury has it. Now, and and I'll, I'll, I'll give that coach this. Um, they, 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 there were some, they had some good strategy too. Like when it, when it was time for us to actually go into like a tournament type of thing, 
where penalty kicks might actually matter. He uh, he dedicated an entire practice uh, to us, uh, the the entire team, varsity, JV, the whole shebang. Literally nothing but just like seeing who was good at penalty kicks, because um, like when you do that, it doesn't have to be a varsity like first string person that does it. So there were a couple of people in our team that never never played, but like when it came time for penalty kicks, he was like, "Yo, Bobby, you're up, you're up, give give it a shot." I was not one of those people. I, let's see, I, I, I played soccer my entire high school career. I scored one goal during a game where the only reason I was playing was because we were already up by eight goals in the second half. So, you know. <laughs> oh, you're fine, man. All right, still three to two. Brazil's going for another score, though. They're trying. Oh, nope. Australia got back. Kicking up the field. It's at the halfway mark. About to go over that line. Not too many people from the pass it to. And indeed, the Brazil defenders went ahead and got it back. He's doing fancy footwork, but there's no one there to do it against. So he looks like he's just dancing with the ball. Passed it on up. Brazil's about to get themselves another chance. Another shot on goal. Maybe. Uh, we're going to see right now. Nope, nope. Australia manages to get it back out of there. Kicking it back up the field. That almost looked like a, like a slide tackle from behind. But I guess... Uh, I guess either it wasn't or the ref didn't see it. Yeah, that's one of my favorite rules in soccer, though. Oh, there it is. Australia tying it back up. Way to go, Mabil. Mabel? 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 I, I don't know. Uh, pronouncing names is hard enough in America. I can't do international names. Um, but good job. Hey, that, that ties it all up. Right on. But oh, no, what I was saying, um, my favorite rule is the slide tackle from behind. I, I, I just I love that there's that distinction. You can slide tackle from the front, fine, no problem. But if you slide tackle from behind, yellow card. You knew better. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Uh, that, 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 I mean, it's kind of kind of like being like you can like in baseball you can slide on your feet but if you go head first that's a penalty. Why do people some people slide head first and, and some people foot first? Is, is there like is there a reason in the, for that in, in, in baseball? Is there like a, a scenario where it's more advantageous to go head first? I know we're watching soccer, but that thought just occurred to me. Well, possession tells you everything. Nothing really to Oh, all right, we got some stats here. Six shots on target by Brazil, five shots on target by Australia, which is why Australia has a higher connection rate. But still, it's all tied up. We might go into extra minutes. <clears throat> and I don't mean stoppage time. I mean, like, we might go into an actual extra quarter. This might be the perfect I've chance. seen it happen before. What can we do from here? Ooh, or maybe not. <laughs> yeah, there there are only 30 minutes left in the half. Which equates to more like uh, 10 minutes in real life. So, let's see how, well, that's, still, that's plenty of time, both of those, there are still plenty of time for either to get a goal. Australia's looking for it now, they got people huddling around the box, they're trying to get it in, and it's in the box, oh shit, they might get themselves a goal, they, he just needs to pass it, needs to get it centered. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. But don't let it go out. <laughs> Worst thing that can happen to you there is to have a, if that Brazil get a throw in, because y'all got a little bit of a play going on Holland. here. Holland. Holland's got it.
Trent Sainsbury. Far from a good pass. Well, I didn't think the pass was that bad. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. It is really just hanging out back and forth. That ball. Oh, oh, I say that, but then immediately. Man, every time I see that, every time I see a defender getting control of the ball and continuing the momentum and then doing a full force pass to the goalie gives me a little heart attack. Because I'm just like, what if the goalie misses? What if they miss catching it? Like, oh, man. A self goal is no good. He could pick out a teammate. Now veering in field. I wonder what so I wonder what the penalty is for if the uh, the goalie picks up the ball after, uh, from a teammate passing it to them because I, I know they're not allowed to I know that if a teammate passes it to them they have to just like use their feet but like what happens if they do pick it up does that turn into like a penalty kick uh oh exactly where he stands look at the referee how he's told him referees like I don't trust you I'm gonna spray paint this line on the field so you don't mess around this is where the ball goes although I do understand why they do that though because I, I I've seen I've seen players mess with that um <clears throat> back in high school I remember that they well, as soon as the referee would turn their back they'd move it forward an inch here an inch there an inch here an inch there ref would look back like hey don't do that Jackson Irvin. Oh, that's a well timed pass. Oh, oh, he was on sides. Oh, there it is. That's Australia for you. Damn, Australia might take home the whole. Was that, was that Holland again? No, no, I think Holland was number eight. This is number nine. This is, uh. Damn, let me see the back of your jersey. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Ah, he tried. He just, the goalie's reflexes were too slow. No, that was McLaren. All right, well, that, that gives Australia the lead. And at a very crucial time, too, because there are only so many minutes left in this game. Uh, Brazil has the ball. They're going to try and tie it back up, but they only have 22 in-game minutes left to do so. Which, okay, to be fair, as I say that out loud, is plenty of time to score one goal. But, you know, the pressure's on. The pressure is on. And they feel it. You can see. You can see it. Oh, they're trying. They're, okay, they're trying a similar thing. They got it back there, but they've... They're dealing with a bit of Australian uh, defense. Hmm, are they going to be able to get this? Oh, they might. I'll be damned. There it is. This is this is the game that just won't quit. Four to four. Man. I tell you, this has been a real nail-biter. Hell of a shot. Yeah. So yeah, that ties it all up again. Four to four. We are now. Shit, we, we might get there that extra quarter. I said the pressure was on, and they took that to heart. Aaron Moy. Yeah, 18 and a half in game minutes. Grant. If we don't Lecky. go further with an extra Moy quarter. Lecky. McLaren. Pure ball control. It might be on for them. Australia's trying to be fancy. They might succeed. Oh, yes. oh my God. Australia is determined. They're like, no, we are going to keep that lead. Every time you score a point to tie it up, we're going to score another one. That's five to four. That is five to four. 
and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes I can't even I can't even make a prediction on this game. It's it's been a roller coaster. It's been up and down, back and forth, left and right. I don't think anybody can figure out what's going to happen. Way to go, Irving. Jackson Irvine with the 73 foot goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Pressure exerted, but he keeps. I mean, yeah, that might be the decider, and it's near the end, but it's like it's not. It's not like near the end. There's still 16 minutes left, and they're only one behind. Like that's. That's been the thing about this game. It's always by one. I don't think there's been a single point in this entire game where anyone's been up by two. It's always been only a one-point lead. That's what's kept it so exciting. Now Brazil's filling that fire. But is it going to fuel their victory? Only time will tell. They're gonna, I mean, they're trying. They're, they're clearly thinking about it. Trying to build up that offense, get back into the box and take another shot on goal, and they didn't have the person there to take that shot, but the thought was there. Well, great read there to intercept. Beautiful pass. Uh, they might have it this time. They've got the people. They've got the space. They've oh no! Goalie comes through. Goalie comes through. Damn. That was their shot. They missed it. Well, they, I mean, it was a great shot on goal, but no, the, the, the goalie did his job. That, that right there could have been the play that decided the game. That might have been that goalie winning the game. Oh, man. Brazil getting nervous. They're like, uh oh. <laughs> This is no good. And take it away. Oh, man. Australia's already got it back. They're already about to take another shot. Holland. Jackson Irvin. Yep, here it is. Uh, they're getting pushed out. They're getting pushed out. But they're trying to work out a way to come back in. Space they got it through one layer, through another layer. They're close. Holland. They're close to having that shot on goal. Are they going to be able to actually get it? Find a gap in the defense. Exactly, they're looking for a gap in the defense. This looks promising. Uh, I don't know. You're off sides. Okay. All right, you're back on sides now. He's protecting it effectively. Eee. I will say it's smart for Australia just to keep the ball around here, because like at this point, run out the clock. You got nine minutes left. Oh, Brazil got it back though. They're trying out that Hail Mary. They're trying to get it pushed forward, trying to tie it up, get those extra minutes. I mean, they can. It's, only, it, it's, it's all only one goal. All comes down to one goal. Holland. And Irvin on the ball. Oh, it's Irvin, not Irvine. Okay, all right. Sorry, Irvin. Yeah, at this point, Australia is definitely just trying to maintain possession. They've got the lead. They don't need to do anything risky. I mean, if an opportunity presents itself, they're obviously going to take it, but... Australia is playing the smart game right now. Ooh, Bra uh, Brazil's trying, though. They're trying to find those, those, uh, those vulnerabilities, those chinks in the armor, you know. Which I think is largely why Australia is trying to keep that ball close to the Brazil's box. Just to, if they do make a mistake, then it's already all the way down there at the other end of the field. It's only five minutes to go. Only five in-game minutes to go. Oh, they're... Come on, Brazil! You can do it! If you, may, if you can just get control of the ball, send it up. Anything's possible. Believe in your dreams! And Moy with it. Jamie Who knew Australia was so good? Like, I never hear about Australia's soccer team. I mean, no, no offense. Like I said, it's an international sport. I'm, I'm sure that they've got a great soccer team. But, like, when I hear about, like, the soccer teams of America, yeah, no, it's countries like Brazil. It's countries like Portugal. It's countries like Spain. And there they are. 
they, they, they heard my pep talk saying how good they are, and they came through. It's 5-5 five to five again, all tied up. That'll do it. Okay, so I think, yeah, we're definitely going to see ourselves an extra quarter. Well, here's the replay. It's a really I, unless well, either team manages to get one last sneaky. Oh, hell, that was a great shot. You see how that went to the upper corner? Unless someone gets a sneaky goal here, I think, yeah, we're going to see those extra th that extra quarter. Damn, it has been nothing but good shots and good play in this game. Way to go, Santiago. 87-foot goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put Which I wonder, how long is a soccer field? Like, I know a football field is 300 feet because it's 100 yards. I don't know how long a uh, soccer field is. Or, or is a soccer field even done in feet? They probably have it in meters. Sainsbury has it. And nobody knows how that can, how that. Jamie McLaren. Uh. Holland. Conversion works. And Irvin on the yeah, ball. okay. I mean, we're going to find out our stoppage time here in just a few seconds. How but at this be? point, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion Holland. that we are going to get ourselves an extra quarter. Oh, he's giving us away. Kick it up. Just kick it up. I mean, if you can go ahead and have the ball where it needs to be when we have the stoppage time. Four minutes of stoppage time. All right, four, but shit. Okay, with four minutes, of, four minutes of stoppage time, they might be able to get this goal and take the win. That's a lot more feasible. I, thought, I mean, I was, I was assuming there would only be like one or two minutes, but four is, 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 well, it was doable. Now it's looking less and less. One of those minutes is already gone. Oh, snap. Australia looking to take advantage. They're trying to capitalize. Are they going to be able to? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, they have the people. They've got them in the right places. They need to make the pass and get that shot on goal. But they have just enough time to do it. So, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you're going to... Okay, um... Send it to number 13. 13's basically unguarded. Cross it. Well, now he's going to be guarded, but... All right, we're coming down to the end. We got 30 seconds left. Are they going to be able to get a, like, buzzer beater? Oh, snap. Oh. He was going to try. He was going to try, but nope. Just kick it up at this point, y'all. All right, that does that. So that is an extra quarter. That's a tie. That's what that is. And we don't do ties here. Ties are no good for no one. So bearing that in mind, we are going to... All right, we can do penalties, the golden goal, or end the... No, not ending the match. It's a draw. Fuck that. Oh, or a classic, which I believe just adds... The hell are... What the hell are ABBA penalties? What, are, are we going to do shots while singing Mamma Mia? What the hell does that mean? All right. Um, so, okay. Do you all want to do penalties or an extra quarter or golden goal? Because classic just adds in an... It just, it just does an extra quarter. I've done that before. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Does something. <laughs> we, we wanted to go classic, golden goal, or penalties. First suggestion is the one I'm taking. Penalties it is. All right. So we've got, uh, well, here we go. And now Time for the penalty. It's time for the goalies to really earn their keep. And... Oh! That was a hell of a save. All right. Way to go. Oh. Oh. All right. So one save. And one not. Off the... Oh, but it went in. It went in. Okay. So we got one to one. One to one. And a save. So we are still at one to one. Damn. This is... This is really quick but exciting. All right, I, I feel like the goalie didn't even try for that one. That, 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 that was no good. He's gambled on direction and won. Well, he's got his angles right there. Just look at 
And... Oh! Oh, and it didn't go in! Oh, my gosh! And we're tied again. Two to two. Oh, this is... This is... This is exciting. Okay, this is it. It comes down to this. And... There it is. Australia wins. Man. I'm sorry, Zulu boy. It came down to the very, very final thing. Oh. Man. Well, I am sorry for you, but you uh, hopefully will have better luck next season. That means that Australia is going to be advancing in this single elimination tournament. So I need to go in and update that list. Yeah, that was the upset of the century, man. That was insane. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, Zulu boy, but Brazil loses. Going to go ahead and cross the name off on the roster. All right. What the hell? Did it not work? Hold on one second. Did that do it? There it is. Okay, all right. All right, then. Well, uh, that is going to do it here for us at, um, well, those are, the those are the match results of the Classic, but then we had the, the winner was, oh, I see, two or three in the penalty. Okay, yeah, all right, so yeah, the, the winner was Australia. All right. Well, anyway, that'll do it for us at, uh, here at ICOM for Virtual Sports Club Season 4, Game 3. Uh, congratulations to Bisexual Bob for Australia winning the game. Uh, condolences to Zulu Boy for Brazil losing, but better luck next time. And tune in again uh, next week on Sunday after our podcast, and we will have Game 4. Uh, until then, y'all have a good one, and be safe out there. See you later, guys.